Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in to the Spidey and Crystal channel. Today I'm going to talk about how I lost 30 pounds, part two, by becoming vegan. And just a side note, vegan is not for everyone. I understand everybody's bodies are different. So if it's something that you're like, hey, I'm not comfortable trying or doing, that's totally fine. Do what works for you. Being vegan and becoming vegan absolutely changed my body and helped me reach my fitness goals. So it's just something that I want to share with all of my friends and followers and subscribers and just with anyone who's looking for ways to lose weight. Now, the number one thing I really had to do is I had to plan out my grocery shopping. So I had to make a list. I had to research on what vegan foods to get. I did ask, you know, my best friend because she was vegan. She's been vegan for a couple years now. And I had a few friends who also were vegans. Um, so I just asked them like, hey, what are some foods that you would recommend that, you know, still taste similar to those who are not vegan because you know I was doing that transition so obviously I was concerned about the taste so I asked my friends who are vegans for their recommendations and then that's what I would buy with my grocery list and I would plan my meals for the week until they became routine because after a while once you start doing that over and over again it then becomes routine like I already know with my grocery shopping I'm always going to be getting a bunch of vegetables because when you turn vegan you eat so much vegetables i always uh i do like stir fry with green peppers red peppers mushrooms tomatoes onions put some corn in there sometimes and then i'll go for a gardein product because gardein is very very awesome with um they have like vegan chicken they have vegan burgers they have vegan uh sweet and sour pork. They have vegan turkey with gravy. There's so many options out there. Again, reach out to those friends who are vegan so they can give you recommendations. And you have to make sure that you prepare yourself with those lists while you go grocery shopping, even prepare your meals for that week. So you are good to go and that you can stick to becoming vegan and eventually just being vegan. And here's just a tip you can do if you're like, hey, I don't know if I can fully commit to becoming vegan. Try Meatless Mondays. So on Monday, cook a meal for yourself that includes no meat. For example, you can do spaghetti and instead of having meat, you can do um, vegan or it's called Beyond Meat. It's like ground meat. Oops, my nose itch, sorry. <laughs> but back to my spaghetti example. You know, to cook the pasta, replace the meat with vegan meat. You can still have the same marinara sauce that you love. And then there you go. You got a vegan meal for your Monday, for your meatless Monday. And when I became vegan on January 1st, 2020, I just celebrated my anniversary on January 1st, 2021. I saw my body or I've experienced with my body. I lost probably about 10 pounds within the first month. So that helped me reach my my ultimate goal, which was 30 pounds because I was at 160 and I wanted to get back down to like 130, which I've actually surpassed and I'm now 122. Yay, so I have a new goal now. I'm trying to get to 120 pounds. But becoming vegan for my body type worked really well because I don't think my body was really responding so well with meats and stuff like that. Um, so try it. If that's something you want to do, Again, you don't have to go full out like I did. You can maybe just choose, again, meatless Mondays. Maybe Wednesdays you're going to do a vegan meal. Or even just throughout the day if you're like, hey, uh, my lunches are always going to be meatless. So I'm going to choose a meatless meal for lunch every day. That'll help you too. Just see what works for your body. Again, this was something that helped me reach my fitness goals with my weight loss and Again, I just wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope it has helped you and I hope it encourages you. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. If I can't answer it for you, I'll try to provide some resources where I think those will help you with your questions. Thank you guys so much though for watching my episode of How I Lost 30 Pounds, part two, Becoming Vegan. And please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share this video with any friends or family you feel would benefit from this. Thank you guys so much.